remember the movie Animal House? Remember that scene at the end, the homecoming parade, and all the chaos, and the panic crowd, and the message to that panic crowd is, remain calm, all is well. Really? I've been reading Andrew Roberts' biography of Winston Churchill lately, and in it he quotes Churchill from his own autobiography, My Early Life. He says, scarcely anything material or established, which I was brought up to believe was permanent or vital, has lasted. Everything I was sure or taught to be sure was impossible has happened. These two anecdotes remind me of the current state of the financial advisory business. Because the emphasis today is rightfully on planning. But in my now almost 40 years experience, the one thing that I've learned is that the plan is only as good as the investment behavior of the client for whom the plan was first made. Asymmetric Capital was founded as a boutique firm best suited to clients looking for more than just a traditional financial plan. I believe that it's the implementation of that plan that separates the asymmetric client experience. You see, I believe that a traditional plan's implementation is built around a vague and faulty assessment of a client's attitude toward risk. It's usually based upon half a dozen variations of the same hypothetical. It goes something like this. Understanding the relationship between risk and return, would you generally feel better about making a $100,000 investment whose upside is, say, $150,000, but where the downside might be $65,000? Or would you prefer one where the upside was more moderate, say, $125,000? with a correspondingly more moderate risk, say 80,000. Seriously, I assure you that your answers have almost nothing to do with how you will react when the situation arises. I've learned that unless a client has an intellectual connection with the specific components of the investment portfolio that implement the plan, they may well do the wrong thing at the wrong time. The knowledge and understanding gained from owning individual securities, rather than packaged products like mutual funds and ETFs or even indexes, can significantly improve a client's ability to regulate behavior. Look, most market corrections are quick and they're scary and temporary. Individual stocks can allow the informed mind to diffuse the negative emotions of the moment by focusing instead on the intrinsic qualities, the, the life journey really, of each position. When you don't have that intellectual framework, the realization of risk resides in the gut, not in the head. Once you do have that framework, the next thing that you need for a financial plan to be successful and effective over the long term is that it should involve a value system that's about more than money. That might involve a charity or some other legacy or a special child or a career or business that you love or it might just be your family it's what's in your heart. And it's important to get in touch with that because what's in your heart can give your head the strength to overcome what's in your gut. I believe that the job of an advisor is to carefully and clearly understand what you own and to help you understand it. And then just as important 
to understand what's in your heart. And that involves a relationship with an advisor that goes a lot deeper than an algorithm. That's really the only way for an advisor on a visceral level to come to understand how you really feel about risk and what your relationship really is with your money. The economist John Maynard Keynes said, the social object of all investment is to defeat fear. Maybe we can put it another way. We might say that in order to defeat fear, the investment must be accompanied by a social relationship.